Hey guys, this is Viper VW5 from Task Force Weasel, and today I'm just gonna give you guys an overview of my Cry Precision Jumpable Plate Carrier. Uh, just kind of an overview of what I run on it, and uh, yeah. So I guess to start out with the front. I run a IR flag and a replica V light, and then I got a replica Grimlock carabiner. Um, I also have my source kind of bladder hose running, um, a Niker Quiet Pro earbuds, um, I guess that kind of takes her at the front, I run a US Tactical Sewing padded AR1 sling that goes over the right strap and then just hooks over my uh, left arm, uh, I do use the integrated shingle out of the JPC, I run my uh, 3 meg 190 round mid caps in there, and then I also run two up front in the blue force gear double. Uh, to the left of the blue force gear, I just have a cat tourniquet rubber banded on. To the left of that, on my, uh, my, on my right cummerbund, I have two chem lights, one red, one green. Moving over a little more, I have my Motorola HT1000 radio. That's just tucked away in a little cry precision and better pouch. I also have my US Tactical Zone padded M60 pouch in a World One. Uh, going over my right side, or my left, excuse me, I have my Naker Quiet Pro. Um, this is one cable that hooks up to the earbuds, and then just another cable that goes right here, and then it will go through here. Attaches to the radio, but it cannot get that damn thing in the radio. Um, I also have my toy soldier, small utility pouch, houses my airsoft innovation tornado grenade. That side. Uh, going over the back of the carrier. Once again, I have my U.S. Tactical sewing 60 pouch, and then it gets a bit complicated. Um, here's my tier. 50 ounce multicam hydration pouch in and then inside of it have my source 33 ounce bladder um, I also got my Ranger Joe's call sign on here VW5 uh, Viper Weasel 5 fifth member of the team um also got my source hose coming out of there looping around just to cut some slack and then goes up and runs on my calm cables on my JPC uh, the pad portion on my U.S. Tactical Sewing Sling is also back here. Um, that's why I have this mounted a little lower on the JPC instead of up another molly row. Just to give it some room for my comms cables and such. Um, I got the other cable right here that goes from the Naked Choir Pro. Once again, it's cutting some slack and then it hits about right here where the clip is. And then from there, come the cables where the earbuds are. Just go into my ears. So that pretty much covers it for the overview of my JPC. Um, so far, I'm liking it. I got a medium uh, toy soldier sappy plate in the back, and then I got some cardboard foam modded plate in the front. So this is, I guess, this is it. This is my temporary kind of rendition of the. My uh, seal impression. Um, I'll probably be switching out the blue force gear, putting in a single where the chem lights are, and then putting an ITW Fastmay right there. Um, you know, this is just kind of temporary. I'll see how I like running it. Uh, so far, I've skirmished it a few times, and I, I, I do really like the rig. I'm glad I got it. So, if you guys have the money and you guys have the patience to wait, I just go ahead and pick one of these up. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys a little short video of it on me just to give you size references as a medium. So. Alright guys, to try to put it in the frame with you, uh, this is a size medium. JPC, as you can see, it's just a bit big on me. I can still get to my first line, get to my sidearm, my uh, HA-45. But, you know, it is a little bit 
A little bit big. If you're my size and you're staying my size, I would get a small personally. But if you're, you know, my size and growing, hopefully they'll figure out. Uh, I'd definitely go with a medium. Uh, this is my my current seal kit. Obviously, this is just you know shirt. I'm my old one combat shirt. It's in the mail. Uh, some other accessories in the mail. And my 416. Everything's complete. My AC in the mail. Um, but yeah, just uh, you guys are kind of proportionate to see either what size or just kind of want to look at it in frame. Um, if you have the money and everything, I'd go ahead and pick one up. You uh, won't regret it. This is Viper DW5. Thanks for watching.